When she arrived, she seemed quite scared and she wanted her mom. Illy Pika was suckling the window. It's a part of their natural behavior. They'll suckle on their moms to get the milk. <laughs> it was a sign that she missed her mother and she was looking for her. <laughs> we got a call from somebody that worked at a aquaculture farm. Illy Pika was stuck on top of an oyster trestle bed. She was surrounded by heavy machinery, probably scared away the mother. We gave her a wetsuit mom, which basically is recycled wetsuit all kind of packed together, kind of resembles a mother seal. She cuddled up to it. She was fast asleep, cuddled into the wetsuit mom. The ultimate goal was to get her healthy and to get her up to weight so that she could be released back into the wild and flourish as a wild seal. So we're gonna pour in the fish bird. We started fish school. Illy Pika surprised us all and was one of the first common seals to start eating, despite being the smallest. She's so funny to watch it eat. <laughs> At the start, she was quiet, but once that kind of settled down, she let us know that she was feistier. Everybody had to be careful of Illy Pika. Illy Pika would know when you were coming to clean. She loved her bathtub and she didn't like anyone else near the bathtub. When I was trying to clean her bathtub, she was slapping the brush. And then she would bark. The flippers were going everywhere. She would spit at you, she would slap her belly to tell you to go away. That's what we want to see in our seals. It just shows that they're becoming more wild, and so they're stay away from me. But that meant that she really had that fighting spirit. Seeing that shows us that she's going to compete well in the wild, and we felt confident in putting her in the pool with the other seals. Pika is looking good and healthy. She's about 13 kilos now, so she's gonna join our other seals out in the pools today. As we carried her out, she was looking around, quite curious and excited. Um, so Illy Pika is ready to go join our other seals in rock pool. That's the first time that they actually come in contact with other seals in care. So that's really special because since they are social animals, it's like a little kid's first day at school. She scooted out and into the water. So that's Illy Pika joining Pangolin. The two of them had a little interaction. They had a little smell of each other. And then they both had a swim around, getting used to their pool and how much space the both of them would have. Oh, there's another friend. The pools are the last stage of rehab. This is where they're going to learn social cues from each other. They're going to build up their muscles. They're going to learn to compete against other seals. Pika started to flourish. She was the one that was ruling the roost. She was getting all the fish. Instead of one kilo each week, she would start to gain about two or three each week, which was a great sign. Target weight for a common seal is 30 kilos. So once she hits 30 kilos, she'll be determined, ready for the wild. And we're gonna put her out back where she belongs. When they're in care, we know that they're safe but that's not a replacement for the open ocean. Billy Pika's recovery continues, and I know she'll get there. In the meantime, we're excited that some of our other seals are ready to return to the wild. I've seen them go back into the wild. It's a bittersweet feeling. You know, you've been with this pup through the start of its life. And for them to finally be released back home, it's an amazing feeling.
they embrace their nature once they're released. You can see their instincts kick in. When they enter the sea, you know this is where they're meant to be. There's only about three to 4,000 common seals left in Ireland, and the numbers are on a decline. And that is due to habitat loss, loss of their food source, and climate change causing more and more illnesses. The biggest thing that we can all do is protect their habitat, to do our part to fight climate change, and to promote a future that seals won't need to be rescued. <laughs>